you not enjoyed the evening's festivities? You know, it's Halloween. It's cool. Right, we kill the music and we are live. Huzzah! Hello, we are back. Hey. Uh, you might see that there are a couple uh, familiar faces. I'm oh, sorry, I need to speak into the mic. Uh, you'll see that there are some familiar faces that aren't here. Um, that's kind of be expected. Uh, sometimes there will be some shuffling uh, in this particular game uh, as people can make it or can't make it. Um, we will, of course, uh, be seeing Brittany tonight. Uh, she is pr uh, planning her um, Halloween birthday potato party. 
at 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 her place. She she is a fan of all things spuds. Uh, so we'll be seeing her later on tonight. Uh, Haley had something emergency wise pop up, so she's not here with us, uh, unfortunately. So we will um, we will deal with Trish at a a dramatically appropriate moment, which is obviously not this game. <laughs> However, uh, lots has been happening in the background of uh, Casa de Lily. Uh, where, uh, as we left off with the last game, the, uh, Black Rock Bad has been taken from the, um, uh, the would-be haven of Henri and has been taken back, uh, to the haven of Lily, who, uh, much like a little girl with a stick continues to poke the bear, um, <laughs> But she did manage to, in an off, uh, in an off scene, uh, in an off game scene, uh, communicate directly with um, Haley, or not Haley, sorry, but um, Dahlia and Damaris uh, to try and get some backup information, try to figure out just what exactly this obelisk is. And now, as we are picking up, uh, uh, now we are picking up the this particular game. It's the next night. And uh, well, it's next night from that particular scene. So it's been a couple nights at this point. Uh, and uh, you, Lily, or um, Lily, you have risen uh, for the evening to a text uh, from Damaris. Oh, yeah. What did I? Yeah. What did you text me? Text. <laughs> Let me pull that back up one second. I think it was along the lines of uh, something about, like, is his soul trapped in that obelisk? She's going to text back and say no, but I, but I learned some things which I told you earlier. Okay, so I said, "What his soul is stuck in the Shadowlands." Maybe that's what I said. Yep, yeah, that's where we left off. Yeah. Uh, okay. And all right, I apologize. What did you say in response to that? She has um, actually. She she would have responded with um not exactly. Okay. What does that mean? She'll text back. Should we just talk because you clearly had an in depth conversation with him of some sort. Takes us back. Yeah, I'm also going to get Ben so he can make fun of him a little bit more. So meet at your place then. Sure. All right. And Lily texts Ben saying, "Hey, found out more information about the rock. Want to swing by?" Me and Stony go way back. I'll be right over. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna ask Abby if she wants to. Not Abby, sorry, Dahlia, if she wants to join. Okay, I'm obviously at this point she is unable to text back, but yeah, I know. Yeah. I just kind of figured as a you know since she was involved in that scene. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, maybe just tag her along. Did she stay with me now? Uh, mm -hmm. So that being what it is, so Lily at this point, um, your. Uh, quote unquote family are going around the house at this point preparing to uh, have visitors again so they're cleaning up straightening up making sure everything looks nice uh, eventually uh, both Ben and Damaris show up uh, you know roughly the same time you know within a couple of minutes of one another you are both led into this old looking house with the obelisk still in the living room at this point. Oh, was it in the living room or I thought yeah. she moved it down to Yeah, we moved it lab. to the laboratory. Okay. So the yeah, laboratory. Yeah. Uh, with the... with the sheet uh still thrown over it. Yeah. yeah. So Lily's going to answer the door when they they knock and she'll just take him directly down okay. to the lab. Sure. Okay. 
So you want to let Ben know what happened to you? Yeah. Um, Camille reached out to me again. Last night. Actually, he woke me up out of dead sleep. Camille? Or Kamal. Kamal? Kamal. 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 And um, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he woke you up from sleep in the middle of the day. Right. Um, I was able to ask him some questions and, um, I asked him if he was one of, one of the, the fallen that were sent to watch over the children of, of this earth. Um, he said he was, at first he thought I was talking about the Nephilim, but which are, if you don't know, the children from the watchers in the in the the daughters of man. Um, so I asked him if he was stuck in the on the in the stone, and he said no. Not he he was not any he was no longer in a physical form. But he I mean, was, I hope not. Well, he, well, he's not in a physical form, even on the other side where he's at. He said that he was in another realm beyond ours. But he didn't. Yeah, the Shadowlands. Isn't well, that he, what that is leading to? He did not state it was the Shadowlands. It's like another dimension or something that we don't know about. Is that what we're dealing with here? Um, I mean, it's possible. Jeez. I mean, we exist, so I mean, it's possible that that could exist. Maybe you should ask him what realm he's actually in. Like, what is it called where he's at? I mean, because we're going to, I mean, I want to know this not to break him free, because I really don't think that's a good idea, especially considering that this dude is older than Adam. And if Adam is as desensitized to everything as you know as he is this guy could be worse well i asked him what happened to the zemesis and he he said that he just he left um he has to have a foci foci a foci a plural of focus and um it's it, it was like he said something like it, it, it he'd be able to enhance his powers and be able to sustain I, I guess communications longer it, but he no. has to have I feel like that's temptation of him getting more from you getting more from you and more and more and more you know is that to, to be more like I feel like he's feeding you little things to make himself more powerful to do something else well, he said something that the that the mirror requires um, another. I I I can't I can't even pronounce what he called it. Is this it's a type of mirror, blessed specifically by a geomancer, and it has to be this. This one has to be a smooth jade. And polished to the point that it captures reflection. And he said that the Zemisi took the one that he they he was using. Well, we got to wonder why, right? Yeah. Well, he he gave he said that I I could get it off the black market at the midnight. Augury, Augury, it's A U G U R Y. Have I heard of that before? Uh, why don't you give me a roll? What am I rolling? Yeah, uh, he, he said uh, that this it's, was. It's, it's occult related, so you're going to roll. Yeah. Um, at this point, since you're doing it on the fly, wits and occult. Uh, difficulty eight. Wits and occult. He said that this black market was for finding mystical items. How does a 
guy in a stone know about a black market? He and he hears everything apparently. Uh, okay, so that's uh, no sixes. That's nine, two, three, four. Wow. Um, I have two tens, a nine, and a nine. Um, so that's two, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, you have never been. Uh, you you heard about it originally through Killian uh, many years back. Uh, it is a black market that moves around and caters uh, strictly to the supernatural. But they'll work with anybody, which is one of the things that makes it so dangerous. They will work with anybody? Yeah. You said? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they don't care what your allegiance is. It doesn't matter if you're of the worm, if you're a Camarilla member. You know, if you if you happen to be a member of the Society of Leopold that stumbled onto it, although they would rather destroy it. Realistically speaking, if you're there to trade, they're They've there to business do business. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Some Someone probably has business there for you. But mm -hmm. in essence, it's uh, from what you've heard is it's one part club, one one part bizarre. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've heard of the, that Augury place. It's I haven't been to it myself, but I've I've heard that it's they will literally work with anybody good and bad they care less what your alignment is what you are if you've got money if you've got business they want it so but it's something that travels around a lot um and strictly supernatural community of course but um that's interesting um and how do i know how long this type of thing has been around i'm guessing quite a while it's been around a while but there's no um no definitive date as to when it started it just sort of started appearing in, in the zeitgeist of the supernatural world at some point yeah there is one more thing and i i want to test it he gave me something called whispers what's that it means that i can whisper and the attended person that it's for as long as they're within the um, range that the winds carry, they will hear me. Mm. So if one of you wants to go upstairs for a moment, and I will whisper, and you tell me if you actually hear me. Sure. Okay. Ben, <laughs> trot on upstairs. I love it. The atheist, basically, of the group walking upstairs. <laughs> Who's just like, I hate this town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything's so damn Yet weird. Yeah, he stays. <laughs> what, what? I wonder what I should say to him. <laughs> I know. So she whispers, do you believe me now? Okay. So do you're hear. you're upstairs. You're just like looking around, probably, you know, presumably waiting for, waiting for it to happen. Um. So why don't you roll Charisma and Intimidation difficulty six? Which one? Lily. Oh, Intimidation. Yes. And what? Charisma. Charisma. Three. Two, four. One, two, two, two successes. Okay. So a little bit of a breeze hits you it felt kind of like, like a, a fan on low for a second, just kind of like oscillating past you. And then you hear a whisper. Huh? <laughs> uh, can, can, can you hear me back? No. Oh, okay. Uh, yell downstairs. Yeah. I, yeah. I heard it. Yeah, that, that's weird. Comes on a breeze and everything. She's going to go to the door instead of yelling, saying, you, you can come back down now, Ben. Oh. <laughs> Is that All how right. he was able to communicate with you? It, it might be. I mean, it makes sense to me because I hear it as a whisper. Hmm. And oh. only I, I'm hearing it. And only Henry... Or Henry... Andre heard it. But he can't respond back. Or 
Actually, you were able to respond yeah, back I'm, before, I'm, so I'm able. So it may maybe be it's a different variation. Yeah. Okay. Well, he gave you a nice trick. I mean, you know, I have a trick Tribe. called smartphone, which you know that can go anywhere, and you don't need a breeze for that to work. So yeah, but this would come in handy if we can't use our smartphones, and maybe I'm compromised. Okay, I mean, great. I'm just saying, let's not give the keys to the Ashland Kingdom to a stone who gives you like a kind of sort of nice, okay trick. Like, what is he offering beyond that? Nephew, I have questions. Like, <laughs> you know, like, what does he want? <laughs> what is he? If he is this, this fallen that is in the mirror, how did he end up in that place in the first place? in the form that he's in. Um, how did Veridot come in possession of, you know, well, that's actually it's a, it's a side question, never mind. Um, yeah, basically I wanna know who, what, when, where, why of, of him, because I think it's extremely dangerous that he is communing with you and basically trying to convince you to get more things so that he can increase his power. He's in that stone for a reason. He should probably stay there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting definite uh, comic book bad guy mastermind vibes from this guy. So Lily's <laughs> going to go over to the mirror and she's going to pull the the sheet down. Okay. And she's going to say, Camille, can you hear me? Doesn't like people. At least not <clears throat> the other people present. You uh, know Stoney's shy. Mm -hmm. And do you hear a, a whisper in your head? Do you have broadcasts? Y yeah, they're they're my friends. And we're trying to figure out stuff. But I need your help. Be ben, after that, leans over to Flames and is like, Oh God, she's actually talking to it. It's happening. Yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, what what else am I going to do? I mean, we've got to figure it out. Apparently only wants to talk to her, so. Camille, can you tell me how you got put in the other realm? No, I cannot communicate for long. Yes, I know. During the war, many of us lost our bodies as punishment for rising against the one. So are others entrapped in this realm with you or are you all in separate realms? I do not see them if that is what you ask. Are you able to escape? I know you cannot see me, but I have a quizzical look about my face. If he could, I mean, he would have by now, I think. I mean, is is that your is that your your goal here? Is to escape? Ideally, eventually. Okay. This is, so not, least... this is not a realm we were meant to inhabit for long. Well, you do realize that you screwed up in this one, right? Interesting coming from the child of Cain. Yeah, well, I didn't choose this life. It chose me. I did not choose to be created. I simply was. No. So we're... Two same stones thing. from almost the same fabric. You realize that I can't let you go. Then why are you conversing with me? Because I'm curious. 
and I want to know more about you. That is all I can say for now. Okay, well, go rest up and we'll talk later. And she's going to turn around and, in her own way, paraphrase everything that he just said to her. Huh. So he needs the jade to be able to communicate longer. He's uh, limited. Um, it's actually two items he talked about. It's the the, ba the Bagram mirror and uh, jade polished. Oh, I, for some reason I was thinking mirror. they were the same thing. No, okay. no, no. Right. Two different items. Who's uh, the one? But I know what he's referring to. That would be what the Christians call God, the creator. Oh. Hold up. <laughs> uh, you're talking to a thing a fallen angel that yeah. fought li literally that's literally real. so that's real that's it, all real it's real <laughs> the one class it, Ben attended it, it, it finally <laughs> comes into play many 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 decades later <laughs> he said that when the war happened that was when they lost their bodies so there is more than just him they are all the watchers well wait a second so i mean he's what that's so he's a demon isn't that what a uh, that's what was fighting uh god or whatever mm. right kind of i mean they were sent down to protect god's children and to watch over them and to teach them things. But they got a little hot pants and decided that they didn't need God and they were gods and this was their realm and they were going to rule and they became gods themselves and they wanted to be worshipped. And then they did and that. And the male's a part of that group? Yeah. Yes. And he he's one of them. And then he got jiggity with a human female and she gave birth to mistrosities, which they are called the Nephilim. And those are, I've, I've heard stories that they are the ones that are actually are the demons, not, not the fallen, because they are trapped somewhere. Well, the Christians believe that it's under the earth. I don't know. Maybe oh, it's in right. the ninth, ninth level of hell. Who knows? So is this dude in the stone or he's he in is, we're, hell talking he, through the well, stone? Well, he's he's in his, I guess, his own personal hell is why I put it. He said he cannot see his brothers. Huh. So he's not trapped. Okay, so let me make a sermon. So he's not technically trapped in the stone or the slab. He was just basically banished to another realm as punishment. Right. And so does he really need the stone then? Or yes, is that just a way for him to communicate? But if we destroy it, he wouldn't have any way to, to communicate. Well, then. unless somebody, I would think that unless somebody made a new slab and got the Why other would somebody want to do that? I'm just saying. To communicate with him. Well, I don't want to communicate. No. This is all bad. Okay. No, uh, no, no. Damaris, no we've all, we've Damaris, all give me a, story. give me an intelligence and a cult check, or no, an, an intelligence and canine lore check. Okay. Because I know you got that. Yeah, I do. Two. Uh, intelligence and you said, spot lore. Yeah. Or, spot yeah. lore. Canine lore, essentially the same thing. Yeah. What's the difficulty? Oh, that's a one. Uh, six. Uh, okay. Uh, that would be three then. Okay. So extrapolate this for me real quick. You're a nautist. 
I mean, you may not be, but you know plenty of them. And you have access to somebody who was there. Not a, not a script, not a, a, a page from a person who was passed down through the generations, but somebody who could have reached out and touched Kane. First-hand knowledge. And That's tell, true. tell me that is not tantalizing to anybody who values information about Kane. It does, but at the same time, it's also extremely dangerous. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I'm <laughs> I'm telling you the opposite side, the, the literal devil's advocate here is that that would, you don't get that sort of firsthand recounting, like hardly ever. And that's what Will, Lily wants. She wants that information. Well, we all want that. Well, I would like that information too, as a scholar, but I also am worried about the repercussions of gaining that information. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, so he was a part of the group that rebelled against God himself. They well, lost. He doesn't have a body anymore. He's stuck in a weird hellscape. And somebody made the stone to talk to him, apparently, to get this forbidden knowledge. But now was... he's telling you to make a thing so that, what, he can escape? I don't know if he was actually tossed out of heaven with Lucifer. I mean, I have to ask him, but from what I what from what from what I can remember and it's been a while since I've even looked into this stuff. Um they were already here on earth and God punished them for what they did and he destroyed their children. So they, I think, were punished before. I don't know. I don't know if it's before or after. I mean, it's something I could definitely ask him when he's charged up. Also, keep in mind, uh, just uh, general occult information, you're coming off of the secular religious view yes. of what yes. you believe actually happened. Much like vampire in and of itself is littered with you know, oh, well, they're affected by garlic and they're affected by silver. Right. Your your knowledge, uh, firsthand knowledge of that's going to be tainted in the same way. Because, right. She's, she's just know. going off of what, yeah, she, yeah. from reading the book of, you know, Enoch, and that's the only information she has. Right, right. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know if they're separate or if they're the same thing. But he was created before we were, before any of us, before Adam. No, I, I yeah. mean, yeah, I get that. One of the first things, I guess. And That's crazy. That's. But you gosh. also have to look at it. You know, if 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 the book I read is true, these guys did have vast knowledge, and they were teaching it to the children of God, to the to the humans. Okay, and then apparently they said, we're better than God, and then mm -hmm. they fought, and then they lost. Because yeah. how do you beat God? I don't think it can. And, right? and, if, it, it, and if you go by the Christian's view of all of this, everything got destroyed by a flood. Right. Including the Nephilim. I mean, their children. They were destroyed in, in the flood. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's totally real too. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I, I'm I'm just saying this is what I've read. I would actually have to talk to him to get more information, and I think that for him to be able to communicate longer with us, I don't think he needs the mirror and the jade to escape. I think it is a mode for him to communicate longer. Well, well didn't you think? You do you know? I'm speculating. Yeah. Didn't you just tell him that you can't let him out? So why would he even bother to give you information now? To trick her to let him out. <laughs> if you're a demon, you don't play by the rules, right? You cheat, you do whatever. I just, I just have this feeling there is something that he knows that we should know. 
Like what? What gives you that feeling? I don't know. It's just a feeling I have. I have the feeling of get some construction equipment and uh, turn stony into little pieces. Well, all you're doing is just destroying his means of communication. That's good enough. <laughs> She's he can't look give at... you terrible knowledge that destroys everything if he can't talk to you, right? Well, that doesn't mean I'm going to use. Though. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't I'm not mean I'm going to use. Right. I'm just saying just to destroy something so old with so much knowledge is definitely not something I would relish doing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. You're you're going you're defending Stony now? No, I'm Two not defending ones? her. <laughs> I'm not defending it. I'm just as someone who you have to understand my history as someone who has always been a scholar. Um, Can you imagine? He might even know of... where Cain is. Uh, Sorry, I got cut off. Yes. <laughs> sorry. But... Sorry, that, that, that just popped into my head. I'm, I'm sorry, Demir. I didn't. It's I okay. I have... forgot what I was saying. <laughs> well, you were talking about all that knowledge. And, All I'm and, saying is that it just seems like it's it, it as someone who is a scholar who uh, has the history that I have, it just it hurts me to have access to this type of knowledge and to let it go. And not that I'm not willing to let it go, but it just hurts me to have that knowledge bypass me. And and I feel the same way. I mean, but, you've got two scholars in front of you. I just don't know what the right thing to do is. So your mother, case. your mother comes walking in and she, you know, she looks at everybody and she says, would anybody like a drink? Not right now, mom. And she says, uh, oh, oh, are you talking about the, the, the big black mirror thing again? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you kids enjoy. Uh, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Thank you. Uh, uh, I mean, okay, so we get uh, the danger uh, if 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 he's telling the truth, okay? If Stoney's, everything he says is real. One, <laughs> uh, <laughs> two, um, I mean, then how do we make sure that everything's on the up and up. If you two really want to just mine this thing for all the bits of knowledge you can get, how do you, you protect yourself? I, I don't know. And that's why I I need to do a lot more research. And I agree. I mean, I, I before we actually put this mirror and this jade up, I want to make sure that me and Damaris are both protected. And yeah. I'm, and if we are going to communicate with him, I'm hoping that he will communicate with Damaris as well. But if not, I guess I just be the gopher. Well, he's probably heard this entire conversation, so we'll see where he stands on it. Um, after we leave, I'm sure you guys will talk a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what the right thing to do here is. Shall we go upstairs and and because I have a question I want to ask you that he doesn't need to hear. Um. Yeah. Okay. So that. over the mirror, the cover goes. Sure. And she leads him upstairs. Okay. Bye, Stony. Back upstairs you go. Yeah, she's gonna lock everything up. Um. He is probably going to try to communicate with me again. Damaris, mm -hmm. is there anything that you want me to ask him to verif for verification? Um, I don't know yet. Um, the may the first questions that I had, you know, you initially, you know, you were able to kind of extrapolate that from him, but um, 
I don't know what he is now. Like, what is he? Is he is he? Uh, he doesn't have a physical form. So what does that make him? Can well, if you don't have a physical form, it makes you some kind of spirit, doesn't it? Does it? There are other things besides spirits, right? That don't have a physical form. So what? A wraith? I don't know anything about race, so I can't say that for sure. Do they normally get stuck in mirror or in obsidian slabs? Can I roll to see if she recalls anything from reading? Uh, do you have any rate? I don't think you have any rate lore, so it's just no, basic. No, just, yeah, just um, basic. Uh, intelligence and occult difficulty nine. Okay. One of those burn a will for an auto <laughs> moments. Yeah, I'm going to burn a, <laughs> uh, I'm going to burn a willpower. That is not one. That. Two. Okay. Um, it's possible for spirits to be forcibly bound to an item, like uh, raids or spirit, like uh, um, animal spirits. Okay. So. Doesn't necessarily mean that's what happened here, but that's something right. that could happen. So, from what I can remember, from what I've read, somewhere in in one of my sire's books and stuff is that spirits some spirits have to be tethered so they're like they have to be connected to to an item um same thing with with you know okay but that's on this plane of existence though well why couldn't it be the same way over there, but what if this slab is his tether? I don't know if it works that. I mean, I literally don't know if it works that way. The the opposite way, like his know. item is here, but he's stuck in it and can't get out. Like, it, I thought based on what you described, that you know, race they tether themselves to an item, but that means that they can still kind of go about their business. I think so. Like I said, it's been a while since. I've read up on any of that. Well, remember, and you I'm... guys do have a method to try and independently verify this. Mm, just a Giovanni. Uh, well, Giovanni no. could help with raids. Yeah. But, I mean, we'd have to owe them stuff again. I mean, do we have anybody else that we could talk to that might have a little bit more knowledge about this kind of stuff? Black market. Mm. <laughs> I guess we're going to the black market. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea, but it's a bad idea because of just the people that you're going to encounter there, that the types of things that I think, based on what I was told from my sire, um, that that's just, they'll let anybody in there, literally. I mean, that's a black market. Yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. even if you're in a mundane black market. Yeah. Um, we just have to make sure we go prepared. That means rituals up. Stakes. I don't know even where to find this black market. Like, I don't know when they're going to be, you know, coming back through town. If they ever came through this town to begin with. Well, we're going to have to find out. Does your sire have... Uh, I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> well, he's the only one that can give us the information. He's the one that told you. Yeah, and he also knows that we have the flesh, the flesh confession, and he wants it. So there's a possibility that he could ask for that in exchange for information about the black market. And I'd rather, I'd rather research that a little bit more. <laughs> I don't want that to be a bargaining chip of getting information from. You know, so anybody. who else? Who else do we know that could probably help us with this? I mean, the only the only thing left for you to do then is to drop it in your your text chat and see, you know, who replies. Yeah, I mean, we just ask around, but that's going to be a, a a weird thing. As far as the flesh confession, God. the flesh confession. Okay, uh, what not... else do you need to like? No, I I remember just the okay. way. It, anyway, the 
the thing, the piece of flesh with writing on it, uh, <laughs> do you, what else do you need to research on it if you're not willing to give it up? It's just an important artifact, and I just thought that you guys wanted to save it for, you know, Ashland and use it as a bigger sort of bargaining chip because it's and important. I, yeah. And they, there ain't, there's not going to be a person out there that's not going to want that. Well, right now it's 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 ours. It's in my possession. That's where it's going to stay for now. And we have the rock. Does does the thing does the flesh thing do anything, or is it I, just like the most amazing vampire collector's item ever? That. Okay. I, I'm still. I had not had an opportunity to fully examine it yet. That is on my to-do list. Trust me. So if it does have anything more than what I know, what it what it is what it is i'll let you know <laughs> all right but i don't know much more about it other than what it represents i mean if that's the only if, if that's the only token we can put in the vending machine that gets us uh ancient fallen angel knowledge whatever that's worth yeesh the, maybe one thing that you could ask him if you do talk to him again is how often he knows the black market to come through. Okay. I might give him a semblance of, you know, we might look to get the items that he's wanting, but really it's more for information. Just saying. I think that reporter dude might know something. Maybe he's run into somebody. I don't think he's a master of weird ancient knowledge, though. No, but maybe, yeah, like he said, I mean, he, he gathers information. I mean, it's worth a shot. I go ahead and text. Ah, oh, crap. What was his name? <laughs> do, 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 do. What was the port? Houston. Okay. I can go ahead and text Houston and say, uh, uh, Houston, random question. Do you know anyone uh, who's a master of weird ancient knowledge? <laughs> okay. So he texts back He sa uh, and he says, oh, you ran into a uh, bomb shelter boy already? you got it I just heard rumor he was moving out here so no one who knows things from centuries or thousands of years ago oh I thought I thought you were looking for somebody. Okay, I I completely misunderstood the question. Um, I mean, you could check with him. He's eccentric. Uh, with a capital E. Um, have you checked with uh, your Baron? I heard rumors she went on some sort of excursion or something like that not too long ago. Hmm. Good point. Not sure she'd have what we need. Yeah, so not a not a ten there, everybody. Um well, what did he say? I I show the text. Okay. So we have to find bomb shelter boy? Never heard of that. Yeah. I, I respond I respond. Is Bum Shelter Boy Henri or someone else? Oh, so you get a <laughs> you get a, a face with the, the the tear laughing emoji sort of thing. And uh, Houston comes back, he says, Oh no 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 no, definitely not Henri. He says, Egon Iomi. 
Is he is he talking about hmm. the slab? So I go, uh, who is Egon Iomi? And how, how did he spell that? Oh, uh, let me drop it in the chat for you here real quick. <clears throat> Oops. Come on. There we go. Uh, and he says, uh, he just uh, responds back. He says, uh, Egon, um, it frequents, um, blood spot, um, online. A lot of anarchs go to him for uh, occult or blood magic stuff uh, if they're so inclined to pay some of his prices. Uh, I recently heard that uh, Sophie paid for a house for him to move out here, among some other things. So he's out here somewhere. So we have to find out Sophie. Maybe. I respond, good to know. Do you happen to know where he is now? Oh, no, no. Uh, it looks like he uh, he is very, uh, he, he emphasizes this. He's very elusive. Uh, he tends to use like dead drops, uh, bizarre uh, movie titles and quotes for communication. Uh, he, he's pretty paranoid like that. That's kind of how he got his nickname. Got it. Thanks for the info. So I'm like, okay. yeah, I could probably find him. Yeah, if you can. Otherwise, uh, apparently, Sophie bought him a house to be out here. Uh, and really just, important. Just to clarify, we're trying to find him for what information on the black on the midnight augury. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, that's where we're gonna find the. Other information or whatever we need to well, uh, deal with Stony. I just um want to use my sire as a last resort. I understand. I mean, I would honestly, I'd rather not use mine at all. You two with sires are still alive. Lame. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not going nowhere. <laughs> I hope someday mine will. Well, all right. So Ben goes ahead and he sends a text to Sophie uh, saying, Hey, wondering if we could talk to Egon Iomi. Uh, let me know when you're available. Okay. So you get a text back uh, well, from Sophie, but it says, hey, this is Colin. Um, she's sleeping in late. You really want to deal with that weird guy? Want is a strong word here. <laughs> Ultimately, he has info about the midnight augury that's what we're trying to find okay so he he sends you know like the the stunned uh you know face emoji sort of thing like that oh <gasps> you know pulling the macaulay culkin's got the two little you know hand you know thing and he says uh why do you want to go to the midnight augury because a stone asked us to, and then he send, and then he puts a smile, like a, a laughing face. Okay. And then, and then he follows up. Uh, there's an entity in the black stone that said we could get stuff to help him <laughs> from the midnight augury. So he replies, oh, so it's a Tuesday? 
<laughs> yeah, in Ashland specifically. I freaking love this town. End to sarcasm. Yep. Send. So uh, he replies back. He says, well, I mean, I can't speak to Rock's uh, being vocal and speaking to you, he says, but yeah, you can find probably pretty much anything you need at the Black Augur or at the Midnight Augury. Do you happen to know where that thing is? Uh, yeah, but are you prepared to go? How should we prepare? Okay, so he sends a text message. He says, first things first, you're going to have to answer uh, the question of the doorman, and you have to have some method to see the unseen. Otherwise, you'll never get in. Second, you need to bring trade bait. Money will only get you so far. Items to trade or are, are, you know, to barter with are, are much more preferable. Mm. Uh, third, uh, it's nowhere near here. It's about an hour one way outside of town. So if you're going to go, you're probably going to need to hustle. What type of question would the doorman ask? It's always some sort of, of a card. You're basically guessing. Uh, you, you're, you're basically guessing the, the face on the card, usually tarot cards. The character. Oh, that that's the scene from uh, Constantine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good show. Yeah. Well, this was the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John Constantine. Okay. Thanks for the info. We've got to figure stuff out. I'll let you know if something else comes up. Sure, just if you go, send a text, let us know. Will do. And so I'm, I'm showing everybody, uh, I'm, I'm reading, you know, um, Colin's responses so everyone's aware of all the pieces um, here. I'm actually a little surprised he knows about it, to be perfectly so honest. <laughs> he was but... right under our noses the entire time. No, yeah. I mean, he's the magic man. Magic man. Got it. <laughs> Main magic man. You know, he's he's yeah, going to know. know. So, the, so there's a question, basically a card that we've got to guess. We have to bring something to trade, potentially. And it's about an hour outside of town. And we need somebody yeah. who can see things unseen. I mean, that's you two with the uh, vampire sight stuff, seeing auras and stuff, right? Well, auras don't show you what's behind a card. Um, but seeing but... the unseen, you can see weird stuff that nobody else sees. But yeah, how do you see a card? You could. Would I know what he's referring to, Jerome? Being that that's an occult shtick. Uh, no, it's how would you see something that's that you physically cannot see? We need Sophie's astral. Mojo. Well, Something I mean, like that would work. I could scry in front of him. <laughs> That's weird, though. Oh, you're, you're kind of breaking up there. Oh, I said I could scry and see it, but that's pretty obvious when I'm, like, right in front of him. Yeah, that probably wouldn't get you it. No. Um, yeah, I don't have anything... And what are we going to trade? You know what we're going to trade. <laughs> pass the first thing first. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, that was the first thing that came in my mind as well. I mean, if all it is is just writing on a weird surface, the flesh confession... We just take a picture of it if it's just the info on it and it doesn't have some weird magical wooge about it, right? What else are you going to learn? Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. Are you asking me to take the... Like the thing the... for trade. 
what else are they going to ask? The flesh confession is going to be the primo bargaining chip there for the thing that they want to trade for the stuff we want. They're not going to accept money. Unless you have something else really cool to trade. I'm I, okay. I mean, you, you can, guys are volunteering you, this you, thing, and I don't want to give it up. You, you can also ask too. I mean, if Colin has firsthand knowledge, he might also know, like trade bait wise, you know what you can take. Yeah, I mean, let's ask first because I'm not, I'm not willing to part with that yet. <laughs> so text Colin, uh, what things would they want to trade? depends on what you're looking for he texts back he says you know it could be something for just spell ingredients and you can swap some things that way uh in other respects uh if, if you're a vampire you might be able to trade vitae if you have some sort of magic you could trade rituals enchanted items It's Good it's it's a full it's a full shop of bartering. So whatever you have, you know, you might have to obviously barter more or less depending on, on the value that the individual perceives. Got it. So, so let me ask then, what exactly are we going to the market for? Like, are we just going for information? Are we going to purchase those items that you are looking for, which I don't recommend that we do, um, but like what what is our end goal with going there i think all of the above so you want to do what no i mean what he's saying i would like to have the items in case we decide to go that route because we don't know when this black market will be back in town so if you just having those items with you in the house, isn't that going to be enough for him to use to... No, because it's going to be with you, Damaris. Oh, you want me to hold on to them? Yes. Okay. As as a just-in-case. Okay. Because <sighs> he needs are... both of them. I mean, uh, hopefully people here are going to know, uh, maybe, who this, you know, Kamel or whatever in the stone is and if he's trustworthy but he was on the side that was fighting God himself I mean why are we even doing this he was I on know. the wrong side right <laughs> I, Am I, I, have to, I agree <laughs> wasn't he well, like the quintessential bad guy right? well some say Cain was the bad guy hey I mean, seriously, could you imagine if we could find out where Cain was? Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Because <laughs> I've been trying to follow Sabat for a while, and they're really into Cain. And even they're kind of wishy-washy on what would they do if they met with them. I mean, plenty of them are like, oh, Cain, we love you. But others are like, oh, yeah, powerful dude. He'll eat you if he sees you, though. Well, I'm, not so saying, I'm not saying to, to go hunt Kane down, but the knowledge would be good to have. For, for what? But you know your whiz. Tremere here. Right, but isn't the whole point of learning stuff to do things? I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes so you're one of those it, who's fine with uh, why do you why do you climb Mount Everest? Because it's there. <laughs> well, if I'm going to get some knowledge from it, yes. What are you doing with the knowledge? I record you just it. Go and that's it. No. I mean, Damaris, you you get it. I do get it, but there's also a limit <laughs> to how far maybe one should go for that stuff like he's in there for i agree with him like i mean i i am i'm thirsting for the knowledge too but he's in there for a reason and yeah and, and i don't think camille, it's a good idea <laughs> and camille knows he's in there for a reason yeah i know he wants out did god give him a term length a prison sentence length like how many lifetimes is he supposed to be in there 
again, from the Christian's viewpoint, they call it the end of days, where so forever. So well, they're they're Messiah will come back and defeat Lucifer, and then he will rule for a thousand years. But during these these, let me back up some. They will have seven years of tribulations. Um, they fight over if the ones who believe in God are going to be swooped up into the clouds before it happens, oh, during it happens, after thanks. it happens. But there is a passage in their book of Revelation that, oh gosh, how do I say this? The ones who are bound will be will be let out to cause havoc so he you know he's bound he's got brothers who are bound i mean if Do you think if, there are more slabs like this around i think so oh fuck Be <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lean really heavily to yes. I mean, but he, he hasn't seen his brother. make the slab though. No, I asked night. him if the, if the others were with him, and he said he did not know. He has not seen them. So it's like a, it's like a supermax prison, kinda for those who gave the finger to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So if we help him, we are literally going against the creator of the universe's wishes. We're an abomination as I'm it out. is. <laughs> well, come on. You really what think do you mean, that... come on? We're, uh... we're considered an abomination as it is. I mean, why, why are we hiding? Why do we have the masquerade? Right. Are you in a stone slab right now? Or are you free to do anything? <laughs> Apparently, God's fine with you. He's totally not fine with Stony. I'm not going to let Stony out. Then why are we even doing any of this? Because I want <laughs> as much knowledge from him as I can get. I think we need. Uh, I think we need to leave stuff alone with this guy. I think that we need to go find out some more information about. Because I'm going off a, a, of a book, and there's got to be others out there that have, I mean, who could at least tell us if the book is even true. I mean, I would go ask a priest, but I probably would burn up. Yeah, I don't maybe. think, I don't think our common priests have this kind of knowledge. Well, they, you know, we could go to Italy. I'm sure the Pope has something down in that chamber that has something to do with the fallen. You were talking about burning up. Are you? Are you? You'd probably just explode if if you went there. I'm guessing. I mean, I just took the slightest sip of weird, uh, super religious blood, and that was awful. So just imagine. We could send Doug in. Uh, don't give him the information so they don't have to listen to his voice. Anyway. Uh, I think we should confer with others on this. Like, you know, our Baron. Yeah. To see if this is something that we should be <sighs> pursuing further. Because this cannot be just an us three decision. No, you're right. Because this is a can of worms or demons or whatever that we're going to be opening if something goes wrong. I can already see her face. And I can well, I mean, Colin word. knows, I mean, clearly has some knowledge about, you know, this the, the Minette Augury and things like that. Hell, even to the point where he knew what exactly what was required. So, you know, she may not be as opposed to it as you think, just based on that, but I'm just saying we should still run it by the others because this can't, this cannot be just an us decision. Just saying. 
No, and and there's cool. safety in numbers. Yeah, and Sophie might have the stuff needed to get yeah. in. To her begin with. Well, we would need her astro mojo. Cool. So yeah. now we don't have to talk about ending the world or something <laughs> from releasing, you know, the demon who fought God. Anyway, let's uh who fought God. <laughs> you know, put a put a pin in that. <sighs> you should ask him if you talk to him though. It, even though he hasn't seen his other members if he knows that they were also put into slabs. Because I think that's yeah. good information to know if there's more. Yeah, than one I'll slabs. ask him. I think I already know the answer, but. Well, I'd like to confirm it just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Um, I know he hasn't seen them, but he may know if others were created. I just wish there was some way that we could verify and know exactly what it would take to free him and not do that. I don't want to, I really don't want to free him. I think he's no, perfectly I fine don't. where he's at. I agree, but I would like to be able to get what we want out of him without freeing him. Maybe he just wants someone to talk to. Maybe you can just talk to him and that's what he'll do. Just give you information. He seems lonely. <laughs> Why yeah, was... did that Zemitsi go to the trouble of having that weird underground study? And he apparently is the one who got the black stone, mm -hmm. carved it, whatever, to make sure to talk to Kamel. Did he ask? It? I'm going to, I will have to ask Kamel about that if. That is if a good was, question. Did he yeah. who made the slab? Was it the Zemisi? Or was well, if it he took his journal? Yeah, I have his journal. But I I hadn't gotten anything as far as what was in it other than that he was um deciphering yeah. or, or translating the book of Nod. Yeah, because most of you were focused on uh you know spirits touching everything. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um um, I'll. I, I don't know if he made the slab or not, but I can. I'll read through his journal a little bit more. I haven't had a chance yet. But it would. It makes sense that he would take the mirror and the jade with him, so that he could not communicate with anybody else. Now, I asked him before what the Zemisi wanted, and he said knowledge. Okay. So then, did he go ahead? Why would the Zemisi just kind of abandon that? Because he probably got what he wanted. Maybe or you, you should said, ask him what was or, the last thing the Zemisi asked him. Or the stones sucked him in. Who knows? You know, and that's a real big problem right there. I don't, <laughs> I don't like stone interdimensional vacuum cleaner nonsense. Just sucking people into wherever he is. Did Henri tell us... If the cave was originally caved in, like from the outside in, no, or... they, they they broke through. It well, was I a guess... room with no doors. Yeah. So a room, with... okay. So that's Amitzi. What was magically getting in and out and using some weird spell that lets lets him do that? I mean, I can do that, but yeah, yeah. there you go. Okay, I just didn't know if this was something that was purposely. I mean, obviously, it was purposely hidden away, but. I just I mean it could also have been there could have been a door and we just didn't know it. It could have been a hidden door. I just want to know if he made the slab purposely to communicate with him spe like like specifically like was he looking for Kamel when he made this stone? Like was that his intended purpose or was that just an accident? Kamel, I know you can hear me. You're all the way up to you know the top floor at this point. Oh no! Maybe I, She's maybe talking I should, to him everywhere. Maybe I should whisper uh -uh. to him. Yeah, you yeah. go ahead and whisper to him. What am I rolling again, Jerome? <laughs> okay, uh, it is charisma and intimidation. Charisma. 
What's the difficulty? Six. Okay. So I got two successes. Okay. So you activate Camille? your ability. Camille, can you hear me? There's no response. Oh, I'll be right back. So she's going to trump downstairs. Okay. She's not even going to bother with the Stop, with stop, the blanket. stop, 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 stop. Camille, I have a question. Have you taken off the cover? If he doesn't answer, she will. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't answer. <sighs> okay. Pulls it down. Are you there? I'm always here. I have a question for you. And it's an important one. That is. Has this stone been here as long as you have? No, of course not. So somebody carved it and polished it and communicated with you through it? Or did... Of course. Are there others like this stone? That's three questions. I've answered two. So now we're going to get picky. <laughs> I thought you, you and know, I had a thing here. You know my time is limited, and I've asked for something in return. And I'm working on it. You're not going to, like, trick me, and all of a sudden the world's going to end if you come out. Uh, you actually hear laughter at that point. You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he just says, I am honestly surprised that you believe I have that sort of power. If that was the case, do you think I would be communicating to you through Obsidian? How real is the Book of Enoch? Because it's a story about you, is it not? About us. So about you and your brothers. So everything that in Enoch, is it true? It is as relative as the Holy Bible. And how relevant is that? It has been curated, obviously. By those who wish to see the word untainted. There are nuances, obviously, curated from the text. Well, the followers of Christ say that the ones who wrote it were God-inspired. Of course. History is written by the victors. Interesting. Okay. I'm 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 gonna let you go back to 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 sleep and and stuff. Thank you. And she's gonna cover it back up. Okay. And run upstairs. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, like the Bible, the Book of Enoch, it's all relative. And no, he didn't. It was not. Yes, the the, the stone was <clears throat> was crafted. So that he, so he there's probably not more than one, one for they, each of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's if that's if that they're wanting to communicate with them. Um. Oh God! What else did he say? My mind is just. She left some of it behind in her haste, running up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <sighs> I mean, he practically told me that everything in the book of Enoch is real, and I need to get that book back out. Is relative. Well, in her mind, real. Okay. <laughs> huh. And he even said that the Bible was God inspired. <laughs> huh. I mean, it is the Bible. Well, that was the point of that, <laughs> right? I thought. But anyway. Uh, Cool. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I figured he himself, like if he's stuck somewhere, he couldn't make the stone. It seems like this is one of those old timey stories, you know, where the sorcerer wants to communicate with something from beyond. And so they get a magic mirror or one of the or crystal ball, you know, or whatever. Right here. So should I start saying mirror, mirror on the against the wall? You should absolutely start saying that every time you talk to him. Oh, that's great. <sighs> so we talked to Sophie. Yeah, if we still want to keep figuring out Kamel's deal and I you want to get his forbidden God fighting knowledge. I don't want to fight God. Okay, well, he did. Well, apparently. yeah, well, and look where he's at. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my point. You want to be in a stone? <laughs> Knives, do you want to be in do you want to be in a stone? But the Zemisi was to be able to get the information without letting him out. So why and couldn't where he? is he now? Oh, well, he said he left and he took the, well, the mirror dead. and the jade with him. Well, he's probably dead now. Well, maybe. So he is. I scribed for him and I know I had a lot of his stuff. I had his journal. I had his Valdry cup. I mean, I was in his house. So there's no reason that I should not have been able to find him if he were alive, no matter where he was. Okay. And so it's not dead. like, it's not like I've encountered, you know, walls where I'll get close to someone, but then I can't get past a certain point. Like there's some interference. Like I didn't get none of that. There's nothing like that. It was just nothing. Like, and that like means he doesn't exist. They're gone. Yes, like that to me tells me that he is no longer like among us. So that's another question I gotta ask. He doesn't know what happened to him. He said, "Didn't you say that he told you that Hanson no one's been there since the '80s?" Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, all he told me was that he packed up and left and took the things he needed to be able to communicate. But he left important things. Like, I just, uh, that's just weird that he up and left all this stuff behind. Like, the, the scroll or the confession or testament, whatever you want to call it. I call it the, the, the flesh confession, but, um, it, it just doesn't make sense to me why he would just up and leave that kind of stuff. Because that's an, those are important things. That's all. Maybe he figured they would be safe there. So you think he just kind of went out, took the stuff with him, the two need two necessary pieces of things to communicate with him, and just left and then got killed? Well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas. I know. I know. I'm just. Yeah. Throwing spaghetti at the wall. All right. Um, Stony's gonna be Stony. Okay, he's not going anywhere. Uh, we apparently need to. I mean, we do need to talk to Sophie about this. Let her know she is the Baron, yeah. and she's probably gonna have the special skills we need or maybe her and colin are gonna have the skills we need to even get into that midnight augury yeah and it anyway. sounds like they've been there so they would know what to expect and we would be going in blind without them so you're gonna have to keep your stony project uh you know mm-hmm I know. Right there. Okay. Yeah, you realize he's going to talk to me. If you're down there with him, I suppose. But maybe you just try to limit your interaction with it. Yeah. If he gives you winning lotto numbers, just give me a call. Hey, sharing is caring. Just yeah. I'll ask him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know. Anyway. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well. Anyway, I need a drink. So, who wants to go to a club? Oh, oh you want to go clubbing? So I was going <laughs> to say, I was gonna say I, there is some here if you want some. But if you want to go, yeah, it, it's more fun to get it fresh. 
Mm. I'm full up right now, but I'll go with you guys if you go. Yeah, just point out anybody who's, you know, sparkly. That way I don't drink from them. Appreciate mm. that. I've got to learn yeah. that. Well, I can teach you since you taught me celerity. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sounds good. Yeah, yep. let's yep. do that. I'd okay. rather not burn my mouth anymore when I'm drinking. <laughs> I can imagine. And you don't want your food running away either. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got to work on that too. Let's go. So okay. Ben turns around and starts headed out. Okay. Mom, mom, we're heading out. Okay, have fun, dear. It makes her happy. <laughs> Whatever floats her boat, I guess. Yep. And so, uh, which club are you going to? Anyone in particular? Um, mine's not up yet, so we can't go to mine. Yeah. Ben's going to go to a new place because he's also going to see if he can add a little bit to his herd of one to make it herd two. Oh, okay. So just anyone that's kind of available, haven't been to yet, trying new things. All right. So you guys, um, hmm. one sec. Uh, any particular theme or are you just anything that sounds just at random? Anything sounds good? Probably something that doesn't like because we've done things that have have had like weird dark themes so far. So just like a regular Dip -step. place. Dip -step. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, fair enough, then you guys uh, drive around collectively. Uh, and end up finding a, uh, it looks to be like a dance club. Uh, and it's got a little bit of a line out front. Uh, they've got uh, some of those small projector lights kind of circling around on top to draw attention to the place. Uh, looks more modern by design. Uh, as opposed to, you know, a typical theme. So it fits a little bit more the um, corporate uh the corporate parks that are nearby. Yeah. Uh, so it's clearly aiming more towards the uh, white collar crowd. I think we uh, could actually. all and not have to and wait it's, in line. The name is uh, oh. called Club Karma. Club Karma. Okay. Okay. I think we can just awe our way in so we don't have to stand in line. Maybe we could try it out. Or do you want to try it out? Me? Sure. I don't think I have that yet. Do I have that? What was that? It's presence, right? Presence one. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I don't that. I don't have that. I don't no. have that. I have that. I mean I can if you ladies want. I, what's the dress code here, by the way? <laughs> Uh, most everybody is dressed nicely, uh, all the way to uh, your typical club attire. And here's Lily really in her so black gothic. Slinky dresses, well, high heels. Lily's going to stick out just as much. <laughs> Loose shirts, pants for guys sort of thing. I'm going of... to spend a blood for a blush of health because I completely stand out. Yep. Nice. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter to me. I'm here for you guys to eat. All right. So, how, how big is the line? Uh, it's about six or seven people deep. Okay. <laughs> it's not. Does it's it not look... moving uh, much though. It's not. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, head up to uh, the front. There you go. Hey, everybody. Wonder if uh, just a. Uh, couple of hotties uh make that three hotties myself included can just come right in and he's gonna uh go ahead and use uh awe spend a blood for that okay so go ahead and do that um <clears throat> rachel and shelly go ahead and roll charisma and appearance where's my 
Where's the... Yeah, it's not terrible. Oh, I need one more die. I only can. Where's my um, one, two. One. <laughs> Uno. Okay. okay. Two, three, four. Nice. Uh, four successes on awe. Whew. Okay. Nice. Well, you have no problem, Ben. And with your level of success, obviously, you've swayed the, like the whole crowd that's standing out there. Yeah. Uh, but some of them are looking at your two companions and are just like, what, what, what? Because you know, the women, you know, in line are like way prettier. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> but you have no problem getting in whatsoever. They just kind of, you know, do the, for whatever reason, it just seemed appropriate. Uh, or like maybe he thought you were, some sort of mover or shaker, but he did it anyways and, you know, moved uh, the rope out of the way and let you three pass without having to stand in line at all. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. Checking out the inside, see if it's happening and just look for Ben. Uh, Ben's kind of meandering then away from the ladies and he's, he's looking for like, the typical group of girls having having girls night out to see if he can kind of wedge his way in and have fun with them. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Uh, so why don't you give me a uh, perception alertness check, everybody? Difficulty six. Okay. As you guys are I'm doing sorry, your thing. We... Oh, I'm not, I'm not feeding on anybody, but I will or percept the room, I suppose. Sure. Let's try not a D eight. So one, Seven two. Wow. Jeez, I got two. No, I got a one. So I got one. Okay. One on Orbicept. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No, not we're, not, we're, we're not. We're not. Yeah. We're not really rolling. So good. the inside of this club. Uh, very typical, like it. It has kind of a a couple steps that go down. Like there's a rim around the outer dance floor uh, that you can go and socialize or sit it at seats or or uh, just kind of lean over uh, <clears throat> the railing that goes around it. Uh, just off of the bar or just off of the dance floor, of course, is the bar uh, in one section of the corner. You guys are kind of broken up uh, outside of Ben, obviously. And uh, are just kind of keeping your eye out, looking around. Not necessarily seeing anything out of the ordinary currently. Uh, ben is see sees it all. <laughs> he sees the dust motes. <laughs> he sees, you know, the, the uh, 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 socks that aren't matched, uh, even under pant legs. Like, he sees it all. Uh, you make your way out, kind of doing your thing and and, and dancing. Right now, it's got kind of a uh, uh, kind of a club remix of salsa style. So people are out there, like really kind of shaking their their groove thing, and uh, you know, get they've got some nice uh, uh, you know remixes of you know Pitbull occasionally too, or whatnot. So uh, pretty lively in here. Uh, must be, uh, you know, 30, 40 people easy. Uh, you know, just out and around near the dance floor itself. And of course, you know, interspersed uh, some other people, you know, hanging around, uh, around the edges. <clears throat> and Ben, you've been here about 30, 40 minutes at this point, you know, kind of doing your thing and, and enjoying the presence uh, of women who are you know, easily attracted to you. Uh, despite your, your, uh, overt lack of dance skills initially, um, you are physically, uh, capable of, uh, catching on rather fast. Uh, that's when, uh, you see a familiar face, uh, although you don't get, a, um, 
or what appears to be a familiar face, but you don't get a full shot of a woman who clearly has the attention of a lot of guys, which it, that's, it becomes obvious why you have so many women because a lot of the guys are over there. Not mm-hmm. all of them, mind you, but, uh, but there's a lot, a lot of men and some women over at the other, the other side watching her kind of do her thing, mm-hmm. kind of long flowing black hair. Uh, and there appears to be um, uh, uh, like, she's in this, this slinky, you know, black dress, high heels sort of thing. You've caught in a couple glimpses of her face and you think she looks familiar. But you haven't gotten a clear shot because, you know, people both around okay. you and around her. But there's there's just she's got like a, a harem of dudes kind yes. of surrounding her right now, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, mostly guys, a couple girls, but mostly guys. OK. Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, let's see here. Do I want to pursue that? Of course you do. <laughs> oh. But he's having fun with the ladies right now. He's not going to care. Thinking... He's he's <laughs> hanging out with the ladies right now because sure. he's still working that. He still needs to drink and all that stuff. So are you attempting to feed uh, as you dance or find a way to take them off the side finding a way to take them off to the side that way uh it's it tends to be easier trying to do that on the move is weirdly difficult sure sure okay uh why don't you just give me a charisma and subterfuge check okay is there any possibility that the girls could watch him ugly dance He's not quite ugly dancing. It just it takes him it takes him a bit to warm up. Oh, okay. Dancing was not something he uh, studied a whole lot, but he's physically very capable. So it's a matter of you know, getting into the groove and eventually matching the partner, sort of thing. But otherwise, he's kind of like Commander Shepard on the dance floor initially. Right. Five success. Okay. All right. Uh, why don't you two give me perception alertness checks since you're trying to keep an eye on Ben? I was going to ask you if we could roll again to see if we notice the men because yeah. no one's paying attention to Lily uh, just, or perception in the room. Ooh, there's two, three, four, four successes. Okay. Oh, that's better. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So, and it looks like uh, Brittany has tuned in to watch. (laughs) So, um, yeah. So you guys eventually see uh, uh, Ben finally working his mojo and, you know, does like one of, one of these things with his head, you know, to motion to one of the girls uh, to follow him and you're taking her, you know, taking her by the hand and walking off, you know, uh, into, you know, a dark corner. And how much blood do you take from her? Uh, two is like the safe amount to make sure that uh, they're okay, right? Taking more. Is right, like yeah. Take, taking more, especially if they've had alcohol, is going to put them in, in bad shape pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go for two. Okay. And since you, you don't have it. and since you don't have any sort of uh, painful bite or anything like that, like the Giovanni, uh, actually no problem whatsoever. Sweet. Right. So does Lily kind of notice that there's not really much guys? No, there are roaming. I mean, are there? So how much? So like, would you say like a third of the club is got her her attention? It's it's hard it's hard to say because you weren't really looking at that, and your mind wouldn't have immediately equated that because you knew Ben was working the presence mojo. So for him to walk into a crowd and suddenly get like a bunch of women crowding him, if he did really well with awe, I mean, that would be really easy to do. So okay. that that didn't really look out of the ordinary. Um, when I aura like... perceptive, oh, sorry. No, yeah, you, you didn't pick up anything, Rachel, when you were perception. Okay. Um, and you guys lose sight of um, Ben uh, as, you know, through the crowd and, you know, 
uh, as he makes his way to the smoking crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lily's going to, she wants to prowl because that's the only way she can get her contact high. Okay. So you start to kind of slink around the, the, the crowd a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll get you in just a second. So Ben, yeah. as you, uh, finish up with the, uh, you know, finish up with the girl and she's just like, you know, obviously a little tipsy Best kiss of her life, uh, <laughs> clearly, clearly equating it to, you know, maybe she's just had a little bit too much alcohol, uh, because she was in that blissful state that the the kiss gives uh a female hand reaches out and kind of pulls pulls her away uh and you hear you hear a familiar voice and she says oh no 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 sweetheart she says you're done for the evening go 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 take care of yourself go powder your nose uh and then you realize uh, as you you turn around you kind of see that a woman has placed both hands on either side of your shoulders, kind of Uh-oh. pinning you in against the wall sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and give me a, um, Oh, he poached. Give me a, uh, give me a willpower check. Oh, Oh, okay. Nice. The hunter becomes the hunted. Oh no! <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I had I, I had a feeling we were on somebody else's turf. Oh, not necessarily. Uh, and that's another thing. Um, nobody has designated turf for the city. Yeah. So, with the exception of of Anzios, which is kind of belongs to Damaris, but is open to everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. a neutral space. Yeah, I'm assuming a uh, uh, difficulty six. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dang. Uh, only one success then. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and you, man. you are, uh, and there, there are shadows that kind of line her form, but it's the woman in the black dress. Uh, okay. and uh, the one you, I was noticing earlier. Yes. And you realize okay. why she looks familiar. It's Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. And, and you are unfortunately completely enamored. Okay. At this point. And she says, I didn't think I would see you again after that riveting car chase. Hey, wait, what, what? And she kind of runs her nails through your, your hair and whatnot. The difference, Sophie. Sorry. I'm confused. I know you should be. It's a, Fit, how so how he... much like control does Ben have over his like thoughts right now? You can speak. He's enamored. You but, can okay. speak, but it's one of those like your knees would be knocking right now. Okay. Not from fear, but like oh goodness. He, yeah, he's like head over heels. Yeah, yeah, right just now. like she okay. and and you would know uh, enough presence of mind to know. Yeah, she's got clearly got a lot of presence herself. Sure. Okay. So. Shadows. That, that probably yeah. has something to do with it. Okay. So then Ben's all How are you how are you back? What's who are you? She says, you know exactly who I am. I'm Sophie Lore. <laughs> yeah. From the car chase. Yeah, uh, I mean, she says, "What should I deep? Should, should I deepen my voice?" She gets, she gets a little husky, uh, and um, and sounds almost like a feminine version of Vin Diesel. And and she says, "Should it be about family?" <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Brittany's in the chat, freaking out. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't notice her as an aura percept. No. <clears throat> Look, not that I don't like where I'm at right now. You know, this is great, but confusing? I get you're not her. I get that. Not and, like and, I and forgot. She, and she, she she shows her hand clearly missing a, a, you know, a marriage ring. And she says, of course. She says, but you and I both know the reason why you hang around Sophie. And it is clearly not to be a sweeper. 
Hey. Roll, roll self-control, difficulty seven. Oh, dang. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, wait, one, two, three. Uh, oh, nice. Two successes. Okay. So, yeah, at this point, you can feel the quiver in your foot. Yeah. You know, and and, and your legs, like, wanting you to lean forward into this but you still have enough presence of mind to go to, to keep yourself at least in place okay and she's still I'm, I'm assuming she still like has her hands mm -hmm. like on my shoulders okay oh yeah yeah okay do i have the with that role do i have the presence of mind to like reach up and try to kind of like gently be like hey not quite not even, quite yet not even, you, okay. you've got enough to 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 resist the temptation at this point, but not enough to physically to get yourself out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So, so Ben then is like, look, uh, I don't know what your angle is or what you are, but why, why be, uh, <clears throat> why be Sophie? I don't get it. And she's and and she she kind of looks at you for a second and and dangles some of your hair into her finger, like twisting it into a curl. And she says, "You don't recall the moment you set me free." And she's starting to press her body into you. Uh, self control difficulty eight. You two get a <laughs> perception check at this point. Yeah. Uh, difficulty eight. See if Lily gets jealous. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a that's a botch on that one. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Lily to the rescue. Cue the blue oyster music. Difficulty what? Difficulty eight. Six. Oh, eight one, for us. Two, three, four, four, four. Uh, two. One, two. Yeah, two. Okay. Uh, so. At first, Lily spots it, and then Lily, you kind of do like one of these like hand wave things to to uh, get Damaris to to hopefully look your way real quick mm -hmm. and communicate like what you what you see. She's gonna you don't, whisper. You don't recognize uh, the person because it's from behind, but Ben is into this woman so much so at this point that he wraps one leg around her body and like it is just mashes his face against hers in, in a deep kiss what that, <laughs> that's what you whisper okay so damaris she whispers and you like a breeze hits you and you hear what <laughs> she got distracted <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look i see what she's seeing like uh, what? Yeah, you. I, but you're not sure what exactly what she's freaking out about. But you do see it. It's like uh, I'll ben, make my way over to her. <laughs> ben clearly landed somebody else. And I look. Do I see who it is? Uh, ben, you have lost yourself in yeah, this, oh, yeah. and, and at this point, you have <laughs> Davy Jones, doppelganger Sophie is a man eater. <laughs> 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 so as as you bite down and you start to ingest oh, no. uh oh, yeah. you see flashes of, of memory and the the memory you are seeing is almost as a first person as if you are snapping somebody somebody's face in half and as hmm. and as you look around uh, uh, you, as you look around, the first person you spot, as you start to kind of float up into the air, is, is a uh, disheveled, naked Sophie. And the forest seems familiar. Poor okay, got it. Yeah, that was from that existence. Okay, gotcha. And, and, but then you sort of like take off into the air. 
and you can feel it too. It's like you actually feel like you are kind of floating in the air away okay. from from the scene. And eventually, when you <clears throat> when you come back, when you eventually come back to, it's almost like that that moment in uh, the original Terminator. Just walking through the streets as people start realizing that you're you're naked and you kill somebody for the clothing and eventually start working your way through, uh, uh, you know, getting better clothing or, or setting yourself up in a better position or getting yourself a, a better car sort of thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What's she saying? <laughs> Brittany's like, well, I mean, real Sophie is kind of his too. And then, then when she's here in the description, she's like, oh, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> So is he biting her or yes. is she biting him? He's biting her. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna look at if so if she's pointing out, you know, that he that he's eating, I'm like, he's king for what he got. Like but what he came for. look how he's getting it. It's this is not just a McDonald's happy meal. Uh Damaris, why don't you give me a um give me a wit? An alertness check uh, against what um, Lily is saying. Witness. Difficulty six. Six. Okay. Uh, three. Okay. Um, she is very impassioned about what it is that she's saying and trying to get across. She's looking very jealous. She's just gonna kind of give her that side eye, like. And and it, it, this I is mean... the first time it's actually dawned on you. <laughs> Maybe huh. there was something else there, and that's why she's freaking out. I mean, he's just eating, like he said he was going to. <laughs> She's gonna kind of look at her, like. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like <laughs> he's doing more than eating. Well, yeah, it looks like he's about to fuck her on the against the wall. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, they could go to a room, but I mean, th they're not hurting anyone. Oh, I can't stand this. I gotta go in interrupt. Does she leave? What's that? Yeah, so she just like, okay. but she's not being stealthy about it. She's got well, that leaning forward sort of stomp, like, like you know, look as she's very determined <laughs> to make her way there. And as soon as I see her go, I'm like, oh, no, you don't. And I grab her by the collar and pull her back. <laughs> okay. I'm let awesome. him finish. That's rude. <laughs> and as you, at this point, uh, when you, when you get back and you, you, uh, and she eventually lets you go. Uh, um, and you, you're just kind of, you're in that. It, it's almost like being drunk, but almost on a not a bad drug high but like um drugs that interact well with alcohol so like you're very loopy kind of shaky hard to keep your you know keep yourself standing upright sort of feeling and look okay and so you just kind of instinctively like fall back up against the uh the wall and with enough of a wedge with your your feet down and and your your knees not completely giving out on you. You kind of wedged yourself up against the wall to keep yourself from you know toppling you know over. Got it. And she she smile she smiles as you of course see the you know the wound healing itself from your your uh, uh, your bite. Uh, you end up seeing the uh, <clears throat> a shadowy tendril sort of lift up your chin a little bit. And she and she says, "I'll see you again soon." Ciao. Later. And she um, and she goes walking out uh, the back exit at this point. We, um, on your character sheet, mark yeah. two of your available blood boxes. Yeah. Uh, in a different fashion. Okay. However you want to do that, that's fine. So I, I got two like weird blood from her, yes. kind of. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. tainted love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blood bond. Yeah. Right. Let's 
see, okay. he's finished now. They're done. Do I? Do, did she turn to where I could see who she was, or no? Did Not really, glimpse? but you could both. Uh, if you both make a, I'll, I'll give you this much. If you both make a perception and alertness check, difficulty ten without expen <laughs> without expending oh, willpower. Will. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I botched. Okay. I got one. Okay. Okay. So. Just one. Uh, Actually, that would be two, technically, because my tent exploded on that. So. Very true. Yep. yep. So um, you didn't really get a good look, uh, Lily, because you were super frustrated that Damaris held you back. You know, got you know, got you by the, the scruff of the collar sort of thing. So you were kind of more flailing your hands around to try and get her to let like go. <laughs> yeah. She's and Lily's doing all this. And Dam Damaris, Damaris, <laughs> as you were doing that and you said, see, look, he's done sort of thing. You looked up, you didn't get, you actually didn't get a good look at her because it was from behind. What you caught was the reflection uh, in one of the security mirrors, usually mm. where they've got like the cameras behind it or whatnot. And you saw it. It was Sophie. <gasps> Damaris is going to drop, like her mouth is going to drop. I don't know if Lilia sees that. She's like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why am I shutting that up? Was Sophie. What? what? <laughs> I let go of your collar now. <laughs> stomp, 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 yep. stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> Is Damaris following? Yeah, she'll follow, but she's going to let you lead a few steps ahead before okay. she gets. <laughs> you just drank from. Sophie, Shh, not not so loud. Thankfully, the music's kind of loud, so oh, you know okay. it, it was it, it wasn't super obvious. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> and what? we're just like Sophie, Sophie, you just necked Sophie. Oh, um, speaking of which, you see like down his his mouth and whatnot. Uh, it's it, it's black streaks. Not like veins, but like he drank something that, you know, was that had that had uh, black jujubes in it. I'm going to go up and I'm going to take a finger before he can even say anything and swipe it across his chin. Whoa. Uh, and then Lily's her gonna... blood is black. Uh, uh, oh, hey, wait, you're still here. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> she pulls out a good time. W. <laughs> picture britney is fussy she's all that's motor oil uh, motor oil <laughs> not blood that's oh. weird she has black blood Who? i don't know if sophie Who? has a doppelganger anywhere so huh yeah what are you okay great yeah you was she yeah. drunk too and that's why you're acting this way did you drink drunk blood no no, I now I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> like, uh, I was, I, I was different. Blood. Maybe, maybe oh. we should go. I, hey. I, yeah, I, I agree. We, we, we should go. But wait, it's Sophie's oh. here. We should go find her because we needed to talk to her anyway, right? Oh, no, that's, no, that's not, no, that's not that, so, Sophie. No. <laughs> yeah, I just saw her. She I, just wrapped saw her around you and, and vice versa. I, um, yeah. Was she married? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, Colin's going to zap you. I, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. Magic man, <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> I don't think Magic Man's gonna do that. No. Okay. Here. Uh, wow. That's what it feels like when I do that to people. Holy moly. Okay. I need to sit down. <laughs> and um, he's like looking for a uh, an empty chair to sit down in. Yeah, you're close to the the side of the dance floor, so you can just take you know a, a you know the steps up to that that rim and find a spot to sit down. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we should get out of here. No. Oh, that's 
Great. Uh, okay. You have the worst luck in clubs with feeding. And You're no longer allowed to do any more in, a, in clubs. A girl pushes I, past the two of you and hands Ben a card. And she, she does this. She goes, I'm going to grab and, her around the scruff of the neck <laughs> and pull her away. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> and Lily's going to take the card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What? Hey, hey! Out of our sure mellow ladies, what the heck? You're drunk. We need to go. I'm not drunk. I'm happy. And how dare you mess with my happiness? Do I do that to you? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I'm messing with your happiness. And that wasn't not the girl with the card. Damn, she's gone. Why do you No, not the girl with the card, but no, yeah, that wasn't uh that wasn't uh Sophie. That wasn't uh Oh really? Does she have a twin that I don't know about? Like because uh, that looked like her to me. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, you didn't. You didn't see this before. Uh, no, several nights ago, uh, the real Sophie, me, and uh, Remus, um, yeah, we uh found out that she's got this weird doppelganger ganger type <coughs> thing, and uh, it can inhabit. Bodies, I guess. And I killed her like a few nights ago because she just kills people. Well, oh, it looked like you were people. it looked like you were inhabiting her. You just drank from her. Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, geez, I just drank from her. Why didn't you stop me? I couldn't see who it was, and I didn't want to ruin your good time, your happiness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I really tried. Need to see auras. I really need to see auras. Like right I there look, now. I actually did aura percept, and I didn't her. I didn't catch anything on her. Right? No. Nope. Like she didn't have an aura. She didn't have an aura. Well, you also didn't roll very high, so oh, it, it well, could have been I couldn't lost see an aura on her at yeah. least at the time I was looking. Oh, well, yeah, no, she's bad news, but. Wow, she has got the... I mean, I know I'm good at that. Oh. She has got the wooch. That was really good. And well, you can't so, see her again. We should talk about this out of here. Let's <laughs> let's go. I'm going to pick him up by the elbow. Like, okay, oh. come on, let's go. All right, fine, fine. So from the crowd, like a, a hand reaches around and, and puts a, a, you know, a scrap of paper in his uh, shirt pocket. <laughs> Can I turn around and give that person like a total death glare? Oh, yeah, one hundred percent. So the the woman's just like just, 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 you know, and she's like backing off, you know, as you shoot her a death glare. <laughs> and anybody that tries to come near, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, Billy's gonna be <laughs> like 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 the new guy. Give him crazy eyes. <laughs> crazy eyes. Because <laughs> 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 something bad just happened. He just drank from a bad thing. I think <laughs> so. Uh, so, yeah, you uh, successfully get out of Club Karma. Um, ben, uh, with, with the exception of the one card that uh, was taken away, yeah. you end up coming off with, like, uh, three or four scraps of paper uh, with numbers on it. Okay. You know, from ladies that you clearly danced with. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that is where we will stop for the night, or for today. That was fun. Yeah, that was, that was funny. <laughs> awesome. That is funny. All right. So I, I know I'm going to hear about this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that look from Brit. Yeah, she's still in the chat. She's all, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, uh, thank you for everybody who tuned in to watch. Um, and we should have more on November the 5th uh, of uh, Blood Ties. 
<laughs> She's all, I leave y'all alone for one game. <laughs> Not my fault. He's the one that wanted to feed, and boy, did he feed. You're going to have to go and, and watch the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, you need to know the information in the yeah. beginning. <laughs> the deets. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so our next game is Ashland by Night, the regular game that's going to be on the 28th of October. That's also going to be a uh, Halloween game. Uh, and then we have um, our superhero game coming up on the 29th. So uh, if those of you who catch us on video on demand uh, or catch us on our YouTube channel, uh, please tune in, check us out some more. We'd love to have you. We <laughs> always love having people in the chat. Uh, it, it helps break things up um, as well as we love uh, chatting with you or the side comments like uh, Davy Jones and the man eater Chan <laughs> channeling awesome. some Holland Oats who are actually coming to town here soon, okay. uh, apparently. So anyways, thank you guys all for tuning in uh, and we will see you next time. Good night. Good night. Oh my God.